Hello my friend, I hope this video finds you well. Today I'm taking a look at the Dynacaster DCM8 from the guys over at SE Electronics. Big thanks to the guys over at SE for sending this one in. To be transparent, this isn't a sponsored video and all the thoughts of this microphone in this video are my own. And here's a spoiler alert right from the off. I think if you're looking for a microphone to be a great all-rounder in your home studio and you have a budget of 200 pounds, this is what you should be buying. So let's dive straight in. So the Dynacaster DCM8, Dynacaster. Now the Dyna, I presume, refers to SE Electronics Dynamite, which is installed in this microphone, a 30 decibel gain boost. And the caster, I'm guessing, podcasts, broadcasting, but this microphone is so much more than just a broadcast mic. So a little bit more about that Dynamite. It's a 30 decibel gain boost, incredibly handy on a dynamic microphone like this one. And the Dynamite switch is flanked by two other recessed switches, which gives you up to six different EQ configurations for this microphone. The microphone itself is reassuringly weighty. It feels incredibly well made. It feels like it's going to last a lifetime. And it does a really neat job of feeling like it's built like a tank, but also looking like a thing of beauty. I love uh, this red underneath the very attractive and quite robust looking black grill. I think it's a really nice looking microphone. And that beautiful red that you can see there behind the grill is the beginnings of SE's three layered internal pop filter. But if that isn't enough for you, SE also include a bespoke windshield too. Something I really like about this windshield is that it tapers towards the end. So when you fit it to the microphone, it still leaves a little bit of air in between the microphone and the windshield, and that makes a really big difference to your plosives. It's a very nice, smart touch from SE. So it's all metal, it's got a gold-plated XLR adapter, it's got a built-in mic stand mount. It's a thing of beauty, it's built like a tank. I think you'll agree, a pretty decent start from the DCM8 Dynacaster. Let's get it plugged in and put it through its paces. So first of all, here's the Dynacaster set up in its standard dynamic state, and I think straight out of the box, this microphone sounds great. But there's a number of different EQ options available. Now this space, of course, is nice and quiet, but if I was recording in an environment where there was a lot of background noise, I may want to engage a little bit of a presence lift just to help that voice cut through. Now, whilst this setting might sound a little bit harsh in an environment like this, if you were recording in an environment with a busy background, this can make a big difference. And the second high frequency setting boosts the high end, which accommodates for any treble that could be lost in a well acoustically treated room. If your vocal is sounding a bit dull, a setting like this will help to bring back in a bit of high end sparkle. Hey my friend, just interrupting this video for a moment to remind you if you are enjoying this content, please do like and subscribe to support this channel. And I also want to let you know about my free Pro Mix Method course. If you're finding yourself getting frustrated by the mix results from your home studio, this is the course for you. You'll find the link for the course below this video. It's 100% free. Isn't it time you left frustration at the door of your home studio and started getting the mix results that you deserve? Now with the high frequency EQ returned back to flat, we're taking a listen to the low end EQ options. And this first one is offering a little bit of a boost in the low end. Now this is particularly useful if you've got a little bit of a distance between this and the microphone, or you could also use it if you were recording an instrument that was sounding a little bit thin. I really like this setting for adding a little bit of richness to the voice, uh, particularly useful for podcasts and narration and audiobooks. And finally, there's a low end filter option too, which will really help to attenuate that boominess if you're getting right into the grill of the microphone. And if you are getting right into the grill of the microphone, it's great to bring out that supplied windshield too. So up until now, we've been listening to the Dynacaster in its standard dynamic mode, but now I've activated that dynamite, that 30 decibel gain boost. And that gain boost is going to help you to get very professional sounding noise free recordings. But I also find that it gives the microphone a bit of a fuller sound too. Back to the EQ settings and I've got this microphone now set up again with some bass boost. I think that setting would be really useful for podcasting and broadcasting to give you a really nice rich sound. And now the microphone's in its first high end boost setting which aims to give you a little bit of a presence boost and get you a little bit more clarity. And now I've returned the EQ settings back to their flat mode but I've still got the microphone in its dynamite state so we're getting the most out of that 30 decibel gain boost. And I think this microphone sounds sensational. Now I mentioned at the top of this video that this microphone is way more than just a broadcast mic. And that's because 
Being a dynamic mic, you could use it for live vocals, but I've been really enjoying the results I've been getting from this mic with studio vocals. Check it out. Catch it on the rise. Make sure you hold it tight. No won't be back. Paint it black tomorrow. And dig your heels right in. Get it out to start again. With brighter thoughts take you to a lighter place. And this microphone's versatility doesn't end there. I think this mic would make a great guitar cap option too. So that's SE Electronics Dynacaster DCM8. For around £200, it's got to be one of the best, if not the best, all-rounder microphone for a home studio. And for broadcasting, it's an absolute cracker of a microphone. Now, I do want to mention before I go, the advert that SE Electronics have made for this microphone is so good. I'm going to leave a link for that advert below this video. You've got to check it out. It's got to be one of the best microphone adverts I've ever seen. Whilst you're down there, you'll find a link to my free Pro Mix Method course and some purchase links for this microphone. If you're thinking about buying this mic and you use those links, thank you in advance because they give me a little kickback and that helps me to keep making review videos like this one. Of course, if you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to like and subscribe up to the channel. And if you did enjoy this video today, you're definitely going to want to check this next one out.